just there. <laughs> and there's Kelly. Oh, God, that's great. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> there's Blade. And here's me. All right, so we're here, and we're going to start now. So we'll see you soon. Okay, so here I am. Uh, this is where the highwaymen would mug people. So let's see what we can find out, shall we? Hello, this is Dan from Chasing Bones Inspectors. I'm opening up this communication so we can talk. No harm to you or no harm to me. Let's begin. Hi. Uh, were you a victim on this trail? Were you a highwayman that robbed people? Do you know my name? How long have you been dead? Are you trapped here or can you go where you want? End of first recording. I'm going to review it now. Alright, we're going to try some more now. How long have you been in this area? Feel free to talk to me if you wish. Oh, I just got I, I just got a chill up my back. <laughs> What year is it where you are? Do you know if there's a heaven? Ending section number two. Alright, hi, this is Blaine Blaze from Chasing Bones Inspectors. Oh, it's really dark out here. Um, ironically, I am wearing a Ghostbuster t-shirt on a ghost hunt. So let's go ahead and walk over to this bridge. And, uh, yeah, let's get started. Alright. Okay. Hi, this is Blaine Blaze, or Blaine, with uh, Chasing Ghost Inspectors. I'm here for communication only. You're open to talk to me and do nothing more. For the time I am here, I am open for conversation. Okay. So, let's start the questions. Well, actually, first, do not fear the Ghostbuster shirt. I'm not here to bust your ghosts. All right, let's do this. First question, is there anybody here? Are you aware that you're on the other side, that you've passed away?
Um, how did you pass? Was it on your own? Did you commit suicide? Were you murdered? hearing things is probably myself but are you afraid of this bridge all right looks like I am back on my own I don't know I'm not blinding myself I can still be seen. Oh. Right. Okay. Let's ask a few more questions. I'm not here for much longer, so... Try and make use of the time I'm here. Were you alone? Are you currently alone? How long ago did you pass? Was this fence up when you were alive? Have you seen other people die here? Did you meet those who blessed this stream? Okay, I'm gonna end this. Last chance to say anything you have to say. To me, at least. Awesome. Okay. Hey, so I'm here at my location right now. I'm at the rock, as you can tell. And there's my feet. And there's like, yeah, the, the rock. And there's a river down there. Oh, wrong thing. So, I'm going to take my recorder out. Probably have it on though. Okay, there we go. <clears throat> Alright. I hereby open the doors for one of the spirits who wish to communicate at this current time. I hereby forbid any dark entities wishing to do me harm. Okay. Question one. Is there anybody here? What's your name? Are you trapped here? How long ago did you die?
were you one of the members who blessed this area? Alright, I'm going to stop it here to review. Alright, so five next questions. What was this river used for? Is this a safe place? Are you free to come and go as you please? Did you drown in this river? What emotions are you experiencing? Okay, I uh, I want to say one other thing. Uh, definitely feeling a lot of chills here at the moment, and uh, I keep hearing things—not voices, but uh, footprints and like shuffling. I'm not sure if it's like wind moving leaves or what it is, but I'm hearing things as I'm waiting for my replacement, uh, who's on their way now. I think so. Just want to throw that little tidbit in. Hello, it's me again. All right. Now I just have to figure out how to hold this. <laughs> there we go. All right, here we go. Here I am at the river. Feel free to talk to me if you like. What is your name? What is my name? Are you trapped here? Or can you go where you want? Did you drown in the river? Did you receive blessings from the river? How old are you? All right, we're going to review. Here I am at the river. Feel free to talk to me if you like. What is your name? What is my name? Did you receive 
Alright, so here we go again. What is my name? Would you like to play a game? Up the trail, there's a guy named Surf. Go pull his ear. See if he gets his ear pulled. That would be funny. I think he'd like that. How long have you been here? Is there a heaven? Are you an elemental? Are you a human spirit? I just felt my hair being pushed. Did you just touch my hair? It's okay if you did. All right, we're gonna review. All right, now we're gonna go up. I'm gonna go up and relieve Surf. So, he'll be coming this way. Talk to you in a bit. Hello everybody, Surf here from Chasing Bones Inspectors. We are at, I'm not even sure the location. But I'm gonna do some recording. Here's my recorder, but I'm gonna ask a couple questions. Hello to all the spirits, good and evil, in the area. This is for communication. The link is open for only communication. It will end when I am done. Now I'm going to ask a couple questions. First question is, is it day or night? How did you die? Feeling a little tighter on the neck right now. Were you male or female? Were you the gambler I heard of? How did you feel your two friends killing you? The link is now closed. I'm going to ask a couple more questions. Time for round two of questions. <clears throat> Were you born in this city? What was it like passing on into the afterlife? Are you trapped here? Were you choked or hanged? Thank you for your communication. Feeling a little tighter on the neck right now. Slight difficulty breathing.
So I'm not getting really much from here other than some slight feeling of nausea and some slight feeling like I'm being choked or grabbed or something. Oh, it's got a massive chill. Huge chill. But, looks like I got time for a couple more questions. So, to all the spirits here, I'm going to open a communication link again. It is free to talk. Talk into this device in my hand. Please and thank you. What was your name? Do you know that you are dead? Do you have family here? Grabbing me could stop, please. Okay. That was bloody cool. I had just heard the footsteps walking right beside me. I don't, uh, I wasn't recording either. I was just walking up there. If you're walking beside me, please keep walking so others can hear you. There you are again. I don't know if you can hear that. I sure hope it, it picks up, but it feels like it sounds like someone's walking right there, right beside me. Oh, so cool. Uh, come with us. Uh, you're welcome to join us for now. All right, I gotta go pick up surf. All right, site two. I'm over at where the people were robbed and killed for their money. I'm already feeling an uneasy presence and I'm not even recording my voice recording right now. But I got this like sharp pain like someone stabbed me in the back. Anyways, I'll, here we go. Hi, my name is Kelly. I wish to communicate to any spirits who are willing to talk. I want to ask you some questions. Don't be afraid. Just go ahead and talk into the mic and the device. I'm holding that has a little red glow to it. Why did you kill them? Do the spirits that were killed here and robbed? Are you angry with the people who have robbed you? So I'm getting like a sharp pain in my leg. Oh my god. Okay, that <laughs> that definitely hurt. I'm gonna take that as a yes. What was this area used for? Are you free to go or are you trapped in this area?
What was going on at the time of your death? What emotions did you feel? I thought I heard someone walking, but I guess I was wrong. What's your name? How did you die? How many are here? Is it daytime or nighttime? I should rephrase that. Was it nighttime or daytime that you were robbed? Are you going home? All right, I'm going to read you now. Alright, so I got nothing again in area number two. I'm gonna head down the line there. Hopefully I get something over at Okay, well I thought I saw like a person walking. Anyways, I'm gonna go down to site number three right now. And I shall see you guys soon. Alright. Okay, how's it going? Okay, well, so far, not 100% sure. I think I heard a few things, like some voice answers. Not 100% sure if it was uh, water or the wind blowing leaves or what, because there's a lot, like, as you can hear, the water's pretty heavy right here. So it was hard to make stuff out. Um, after I stopped the recording, I kept hearing footsteps and, like, rustling <laughs> and stuff, I guess. Okay, okay, that's, wait a second, that's really cool. Because on the way up here, right, I said, as, as, as I was coming up, there was someone walking right beside me. You could hear the footsteps. And I turned around, I don't know if I caught it. But somebody was literally walking beside me for like 20 steps. Anyway, I'm sorry to interrupt, but it's just funny we both heard footsteps. Yeah, I heard some steps and I kept turning around and looking and nobody was there. Actually, at one point, there was some guy that walked by. But that was way before I started hearing the footsteps and stuff. Um... So I, I looked and there was nobody where I'm hearing them from and I heard like rustling so I'm not sure if like the wind's blowing leaves or like chime, there was like a chimey sound too. Okay, that's so, weird. It was very interesting. How about you? Did you uh... Um, well I went back through uh, my re uh, recorder but I don't think I caught anything. I thought I caught something but then I reviewed it through my phone and realized I actually just made a noise with my throat randomly. Any, Probably any, 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 any strange things happen? Well, the fact that I was having uh, minor trouble breathing. Well, that would be a good thing in the straggle area. Yeah, I, I 
to it a couple times and my phone and it stopped recording after uh, my phone decided to stop recording. I said whoever's gra whoever's grabbing my throat, could you please stop now? Because I stopped breathing. Oh, interesting. Yeah. Beauty. That's some. And I didn't. I didn't even interrogate them at all. Cool. All right. So where are you going now? I was going to go to where you were, but you sent Kelly that way. Okay. So you go to. I just can backtrack, go to the strangle, then I'll go to. I want to end at the rock. Okay. So go to the strangle then. Okay. All right. You can go back to where the rock was on the river. Yep. You know. You know where that is. Yep. I'll stay here. That's not hard to miss. And as soon, as soon as I'm done, uh, or as soon as you're done your 10 questions, you can go relieve him at the rock. I want to do that last. I want to do the highland before that. Okay, so you want to go to the highland? Okay, so go relieve Kelly over at the highland as soon as you're okay. done at the strangle. Yeah, and Kelly can take the strangle. Surf will take the bridge. You can take the rock. Yeah, okay, so you go to the rock. I go to the rock? I'll do the bridge right All now. Right. You go to strangle. As soon as I'm done, uh, we'll switch around. Okay. What is the name of this location? Because I don't know. Uh, we're not going to say it on the show. Oh, okay. I was okay. like, hi, sir, for Transport Inspectors. I'm at, I don't know the location. Well, that, that's perfect. Okay. <laughs> okay. Now, we are at the bridge. Hello. Is anybody here? Feel free to talk to me. Were you thrown off this bridge? Get your head cracked open, bled out and died? Didn't that piss you off? Don't you want to say something? Say hello? Let me tell your story. Okay, I just heard hello. Don't know if it got picked up, but I heard someone say hello. Do you know what my name is? What is your name? All right, let's review. Hello, is anybody here? Feel free to talk to me. I don't know if I heard it again. Okay, I heard something there, but I don't know what it was. Uh, we'll re-listen to it later. Uh, we're going to record some more. How long have you been in this area? Do you like it here? Are you free to come and go as you like? Hi. So where's the strangle? Hey? Where's the strangle area? Uh, just back there. Okay. You can stay here, because I'm going to be leaving. Okay. Ah, say hi, Kelly. Hey, how you doing? All right, I'm going to ask five more questions. Yeah, I got a, a sharp stabbing pain when I was over at the highway crew, like in the back. Oh, really? Yeah. Did you guys stab Kelly in the back? Does somebody want to say sorry to Kelly? How long have you been here? All right, spirits, we're going to review, and then I'm going to move to the next spot. So if you've got something to say, say it now. Okay, we're going to review again.
No. I heard no. Did you hear that? <laughs> I just heard someone say no. All right. So I'm going to my next spot. You can stay here and ask your questions. All right? All right. Okay. All right. So I'm here where the uh, highwaymen were. So let's pull out our handy dandy recorder and get to it. Hello, is there anybody here? I want you to know I'm here to talk to you. I don't mean you any harm. I'm not looking for any kind of trouble. I just want you to talk into this device. With each question I ask, I'll give you about 10 seconds to respond. And we'll go from there. How many of you were there? How many people are there here now? I should ask first. Does time mean anything to you after death? Why did you do what you did? Like, I've, are you the high... Right. Scratch my last question. Are you the highwayman? If so, why did you do what you did? Why did you un make knock people unconscious and steal their money? Did you live by a code? Is there a reason you just knocked them out and took their money, leaving them relatively unharmed? A reason you didn't kill your victims? Okay. I'm going to play back that recording. Hello? Is there anybody here? You know I'm here to talk to you. I don't mean you any harm. I'm not looking for any kind of trouble. I just want you to talk into this device. With each question I ask, I'll give you about 10 seconds to respond, and we'll go from there. How many of you were there? How many people are there here now? I should ask first. I'll put that back. Does time mean anything to you after death? Why did you do what you did? Are you the highwayman? Okay. Scratch my last question. Are you the highwayman? If so, why did you do what you did? Why did you un make knock people unconscious and steal their money? Hold up a sec. Make lot of people unconscious and steal their money. Is, did you live by a code? Is there a reason you just knocked them out and took their money, leaving them relatively unharmed? A reason you didn't kill your victims? Alright, I keep hearing answers in the recording, and then when I play it back, I'm not hearing them again. I'm not sure if I'm just going crazy, or they're, I'm hearing them, or maybe someone's talking to me outside of the recording. I, 
I don't know. I keep hearing things, though. Things that, when I play it back, I'm not hearing again. Like, I'm hearing it in the recording, and that's why I said, wait, I'm going back. I back up a little bit, and I don't hear it again. That's, uh, interesting. This light in my eye is getting difficult to see. Okay, uh... Let's do a few more. Um... Did you just bump my friend in the head a few minutes ago? Are you still here? Are you still trying to take people's money? Is there a reason you chose this location? One more. Is there anything else you wish to say to me? The last 15 seconds. Thank you for your time. Okay, so once again, not really picking up anything here. I'm gonna move to my last location and then see if I can get anything there. Alright, I'm back. I'm in a different location now. Locations up before is where apparently someone got shrouded. Where I am now is a, a place where I've been waiting to get to. Apparently, highway workers would sit here and bonk people on the head and kill them and steal their stuff. So I got a couple questions lined up for them. So let's get at it. Hello, I am opening this communication link for communication purposes only. Just to speak and to be spoken to. Talk to this little orange light here. And I hope we hear your voices. So we'll start off with question number one. Let's be just moving the quarter around. Were you a casualty of the highwaymen? How old were you? How did you die? What was your name? Is there more than one spirit among me at this present moment? I am now closing the link. I'm at site number three right now, bridge. Um, so yeah. <sighs> Who's with me right now? Getting like a really, really, really cold, like as if I'm being touched type of thing. 
Are you touching me right now? All right, so my name is Kelly, what's yours? What was this bridge used for? Are you female or male? Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and review and I'll get back to you soon. Alright, that time I definitely heard a name. Do you want to repeat your name again? All you gotta do is just speak in this little black box I'm holding in my hand and I'm waving around right now. What's your name? How old are you? Do you like to play pranks on people when they're walking by? Are you lonely or do you have friends with you right now? What animal spirit is here today? Is there an animal spirit around? How did you die? Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and review your last chance. If you want to say anything, say it now. And so, I'm not sure, but I heard a guy's voice. I'm not sure if my device is picked up. It definitely sounds like a guy. So I'm going to go over to the hanging tree now. I'm not sure how far the hanging tree is. And yeah, I'm going to see if, uh, who the hell was hung over there. So stay tuned. How you doing? Uh, not bad. Did you think you got anything? Oh, uh, I haven't heard anything yet from my recording. And I can't check my phone because I ran out of storage space. So I can't record anything anymore. Oh, so you still got to do five questions? Uh, not these ones. But while I was over there where the highwaymen were, I felt like someone did hit me on the head. Oh, isn't that interesting? So, so far, Kelly's been stabbed in the back, and you've been hit on the head. I've been hit in the head. Oh, I was also choked. And you were also choked? I was also choked. Well, one thing for sure, the personal experiences here tonight have been tremendously awesome. Uh, Everything from footsteps to being stabbed, hit in the head, those too. Hit, hit on the head. Uh, I mean, we're gonna have to talk about all those too uh, after. 
uh, because personal experiences are, are pretty good. Uh, of course, it's not proof that we can give to you, but you know, it's proof enough for us. Proof enough for us. Yeah, we should talk about them later. So that's really awesome. Uh, give me, give me a scared face. There we go. We'll use that later on, <laughs> on editor or something. <laughs> of course you will. All right. Uh, oh, uh, Kelly was saying she felt like she's going to get mugged. I said, awesome, that'll be good for ratings. And I left her there. <laughs> so, oh, hey, that's a good one. Up the road there is Kelly, okay? So go up the road and, and pull on her ear like this because she really like that. So just give it a little tug. Oh, no, no, no. Little light blow in the ear. Oh, blow in the ear? Blow in the ear. Don't How about a tug and a blow? That'd be good. Maybe if you can, make it feel a little wet, like lick it or something. Oh, that would be really good. Oh. She'd really like that. Oh, she so, would. Okay. Absolutely. All right. I'll talk to you later. All right. Hey, Blaine. Hey, how's it going? Good. Uh, so, anything here? So far, I'm not getting any like responses that are clear enough for me to actually make out. Yeah. Uh, well, that's the same with me. I got a couple, uh, I think one, no. Uh, and another one was, I uh, can't remember, yes or something like that. Um, when I asked, because when, when, when Kelly was over here, Kelly said you felt like you got stabbed in the back. Yeah. So I said, was that you? And you hear, no. <laughs> so anyway, uh, I also just found out that Surf said he felt like you got hit upside the head over here. Yeah, I was, he told me that too. They both told me that actually. Have you had any experiences tonight? Anything that, uh, you know, doesn't necessarily, that we can prove, but... Uh, well, any personal experiences? Other I'm hearing sounds that I can't prove are there, just I can't prove or disprove. I'm uh, feeling un a bit uneasy, like not so like physically uneasy. Like I can't stand still. So I keep right. having to move. Um, so it's like you're being watched. Kind of, yeah. It's like there's yeah, something. I've, I've had that too. Like Kelly just set up the road there. I feel like I'm going to get mugged. I said, "Fantastic! That'd be great for ratings." Yeah, <laughs> uh, and I left her there. So, uh, other than that, I I keep hearing responses on the recorder, and I go back to play it, and there's nothing. Yeah, that's the same thing I'm getting. Like I I think I hear something, and then I'm gonna hold up. I'm gonna play that back, and it's just silence. Okay, well when we get back, we're gonna go through all this stuff anyway, because there's gotta be evidence on there, uh, because I've heard a couple things, and then I can't hear them, and you've heard a couple things. But everybody seems to be having a lot of experiences, which which is really good. Yeah. All right. So are you going to go to the rock now? Yeah. My flashlight just died, so that might be a problem. But yeah. You want to borrow mine? Yeah. Okay. All right. I can let you borrow mine. All right. Off to the light. All, All right. Rock. We'll see you. I'm just going to go walk around and check on the people here. Okay. I am now in the spot where the strangler was uh, happening. A couple of the, the crew already felt strangled tonight. Let's see if I can be too. Alright, here we go. Is there a dark spirit that hangs out here? It seems like to choke me boys and me girls. Would you like to try to choke me? Feel free. I ain't afraid of you. This is only for the dark spirit. If there's any good spirits here, I'd like to talk to you. Uh, please feel free to say hello. I look forward to speaking with any of you. Uh, about the victim who was killed here and strangled. What was your name? I gave you my blessings and I'll give you some prayers later because that's the right thing to do. All right, I'm gonna review. How long have you been here? Are you trapped here, or can you leave when you want? Would 
Will you say hi? What is my name? What is your name? Were you killed over money? All right, I'm gonna review. I feel like I'm being followed, which is, I don't know, it, it's kinda, it, it um, makes me ra rather concerned on what's going on. So, yeah, I feel like I'm being followed. Anyways, I'm over here where the men were hung, or a guy was hung or something. So, I'm gonna go ahead and see what's up. And hopefully this feeling of not being followed disappears soon, I hope. <laughs> yeah, anyways, I keep on seeing like, I, like out of the corner of my eye, I keep on seeing like a person walking, like, or footsteps and I don't know. Anyways, I um. I kind of want to pee and kind of want to cry right now and kind of it's like anyways I'm gonna go ahead with my recording that's all right hello my name is Kelly I'm here to speak to the spirit or the person that was hung here was there a reason why you were hung Where were you going at the time? Do you know who hung you? Do you enjoy sharing your pain with other people who are walking by? Well, like I'm, I feel like I'm being watched right now, but I'm not entirely sure from what direction. I keep on getting this like cold spot on my back. Who's with me right now? Are you following me? If you want anything that's like say, you can go ahead and talk to this little device I have in my hand. It's counting down numbers. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and review now. <laughs> Where were you going at the time? Where are you going? Yeah, I kind of walked on my head. Really? You. Where at? Well, you got stabbed. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm up good. Okay. Okay. For the person who is hung here, what's your name? How long ago was this?
Are you at peace or are you free to go? Was it over money? I'm going to go ahead and review right now. So if you have anything to say, now would be the time. Because you won't get another chance. Speak whatever's on your mind. Speak in this microphone that I got in front of my face. Okay, I'm going to review now. So, I was just on this nifty Nancy little bridge here. And it felt like someone grabbed me and tried to put me over the bridge. Oh. And I've, I've been told that that's happened to people here in the past. Yes, that's, that's happened before. And uh, that's how the one, one fellow died. He got pushed over, split his head open, bled to death, and died and drowned at the same time. That got morbid quickly. <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah, it felt like someone, like, full-on grabbed me like this and tried to lift me. Huh. That is a class. Right on. Good job. I got it. Good job. <laughs> I like that. Oh, yeah. So and Also, while I was, I had my flashlight show up into that area. Mid-sentence, I saw what appeared to be a head go into the bushes. Oh. As if they were running in there to go get someone who fell in. Oh. They uh, looked panicked. And I suppose your camera wasn't in that direction. No, I ran out of storage space, so I can't ah. record, which actually quite annoys me because I would have loved to have caught that. Well, anyway, I've known you forever, and I know you wouldn't BS about that, so... Oh, no, I wouldn't lie to you. No. You'd kick my ass. I would. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but, but everybody's had some really good experiences tonight, so we should we need to all, uh, go sit down and talk See, about all of them. The most, like, experience I'm having is, like, ever since we started and I was going out, I felt like someone was just following the entire place. Yeah. Gee, I, I don't know why. Uh, why would know. someone be following? I, I, don't I don't know. I don't know. Maybe because we told them to. But maybe, anyway. Maybe, maybe. <laughs> anyway, okay, so let's go find Blaine. Yes. And uh, so anyway, this is Surf. Say good night, Surf. Good night, fellas. Kelly. Good night. Myself, good night. And Blaine will say good night when we find him. <laughs> All right, so I'm at my last location. I'm gonna do my recording and uh, hope I get something. I'm not. I felt like today was gonna be a good night for recordings, for evidence. All day I felt today is gonna be good. Today is gonna be good for this, and I haven't found much evidence yet. So hopefully, when we review, we'll catch some stuff. Maybe I'll get some stuff here. Let's give it a shot. Hello, is there anybody here? Do you mind if I sit down? Alright, I'm gonna sit on this rock by the river. Okay. Thank you for having me in your space. <clears throat> Are the druids and the priests and everyone who blessed this river around? Are you aware of all the happenings around here? Are you aware that the river still feels calm after all these years? Would you mind 
saying who you are. Okay, let's review. Okay. Didn't quite hear much on that either. I'm not sure if I'm just not hearing it tonight or I'm not getting responses. I feel a lot calmer here. I'm okay to not move around. But I still feel like I have to watch my back. Like there's something behind me. Like, I don't know. I'm just not feeling... Over here I feel fine. On the rocks. But like I feel like I have to watch the trail still. Like there's... Something might come up from behind me. Shivers galore, too. Okay. So, let's do another few questions and then I'll be out of your hair. Why did you bless the stream? Were you asked to? Did you walk by and witness something? Or maybe you walked by and felt it? Why is it limited? Why is only the river calm, the stream? Is there a reason the woods, the trees, didn't stick? Is there a reason the water became calm even with all that happened, but the trees still feel, like, dangerous? Is this where you died, or did you come back? Do you fear the water, the trees, or is this a place of rest for you? Is it calming? Is there anything else you'd like to say to me before I leave? Thank you for having me here. I'm going to leave now.
Is this where you died, or did you come back? Do you fear the water, the trees, or is this a place of rest for you? Is it calming? Is there anything else you'd like to say to me before I leave? Thank you for having me here. I'm going to leave now. Alright, so, still didn't pick up much. Definitely feel a lot different here, though. Uh, as soon as I turned around, the calming really overtook me. I didn't feel uneasy anymore with my back to the river. Um, I feel very welcome here. Which is odd for the rest of the trail. I feel so unwanted. Like I shouldn't be there. Um, but here, it's welcoming it's calming and soothing so i'm gonna head out meet with the rest of the crew and uh we'll see what we can find we found george okay say good night george oh it's a good experience uh didn't get as much evidence so far that i was hoping for maybe we'll find some stuff as we go through it as a group uh just hoping explain signing off Good night, fellas. All right, we'll talk to you later. And uh, we've all had some really cool personal experience. We're going to talk about that. Um, but we'll see you later on today. Cheerio. Oh, and remember now, everybody, take care of yourself. Take care of your family. Watch out for ghosts and have a great day. <laughs>